Hey, what's up guys? It's The Hun here coming at you with a brand new video. I took a little break per for personal issues. I had a lot of shit to do. School just started up again, but I'm back. I've decided to switch things up with uh, the videos. So you guys are going to be getting this around the 1st of November, where a lot of stuff has been announced if you guys are paying attention to my Instagram. But just in case you're missing it and you're checking it here on YouTube, well, first I have a new Twitter which I basically post whatever the fuck I want on there. And I have a new drumming Instagram where I pretty much just talk about, well, not talk about, but I drum because I, I drum. <laughs> um, but anyways, what are we doing today? If you've read the title of the video, yes, we're going to be reacting to the new, the new Common album called Let Love. Now, personally, I think Common is a staple in the rap game. Personally, I haven't watched Common, I haven't listened to Common. I, I don't I don't really listen to Kama. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just know he's a legend and I respect that. So I'm recording this video on the Friday, so two days before the first. Um, so you know I'm kind of doing this beforehand, but I want to make sure you guys have a bunch of new content for um, for that Sunday when this comes out. So without further ado, I'm gonna put the timestamps right here of when I'm listening to each song. If you want my reaction. And uh, we're just going to get right into this shit with the first song from Let Love called Good Morning Love featuring Samora Pin Pinderhues. Let's say Pinderhues. I hope that's correct. So let's get right into this shit. It's really relaxing. It seems like it's going to get personal. Man, this is real chill. I actually like this. So, sorry, before I before I begin on Common's verse, like Samora Pinder Hughes. Yeah, she has a really nice voice. It really fits the track already. I'm really looking forward to the to Common's verse, but Yeah, I mean at least at least this track right here, you, you could feel there's a lot of self-reflection. I really like it. I really I'm really liking it so far. First track of the album. Common's verse is just deep. It's just talking about God, love, people, stabbing at the shadows of God. That's that's a that's a that's a bar right there. That's a that's a bar to quote um Cody Co. But getting off the topic, let's continue. You you could just feel the song in like your soul. I don't know how to describe it's just you just feel it in your soul. You just feel it. I don't know how to describe it's like giving me goosebumps right now. Like I don't know if you can see it, but it's like it's like giving me fucking goosebumps. Uh, yeah, you can't really see that. Damn, that, I mean, it's not done yet. We're halfway through, but like, I just, I feel it in here. They be fueling me uh. in the struggle of us. There's a unity, yeah. the global universe. Stay schooling me. Will the king of kings really rule me? I'm an instrument. Stay in tune with me. This orchestrated by Kareem, so me. If a guy may have a cube, it's okay. shooting me. Dude, this dude's bars. Common's fucking bars. I'm an instrument. Stay in tune with me. Damn, this song might be long if I keep having to stop it here, but I'm just like, I gotta say something. Holy shit, let's keep going. I am, I am speechless. That, that song touched my soul. I just... I just felt it. I got goosebumps from it. Just straight goosebumps. Like, if I had to rate the song, I'd give it a nine. I'd give it a nine. It's not perfect, but it's. I'd give it like a nine point nine if I could. It's not perfect, obviously. Like when when the song started, the jarring en entrance of the drums for me was a bit. But besides that, I mean, the chorus it just fit with. The fucking it just fit with the with the vibe. The beat was just perfect. It sat there as common was expressing himself. I, I loved it. I love that track. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna give that like a nine out of nine point nine out of ten. And that's definitely going on my fucking um library, like give it a little check mark, whatever the fuck. But anyways, next song. We have Her Love featuring Daniel Caesar. I've never heard of Daniel Caesar, but let's get right into it. 
Let's see, let's see what, what he has to bring. Two DJs, one microphone, we freestyle, we write at home, it don't, it don't, uh, uh. Yo. Yo. Man's got bars. That, that storytelling was just amazing. This is an amazing album. I, I know I'm only two songs in. I know I'm only two songs in. But this shit is just... Mm. I just it's just great. I love that shit. I know this sounds stupid. But in this love song, like... You could just tell. Like, I don't know. With a lot of love songs for me... The lyrics don't seem genuine. They don't seem... They just kind of seem generic, you know? But this shit right here... Like... You just feel it. You just feel like he loves her so much. Just wants to hold on to her. Yo, I fucking get it. It might have taken a while. I gotta admit it took me to the end of the song. Um, By the way... Song is a... Song is a 10 right there. Maybe I'm too lenient, but that's a 10 to me. That's a, that's a, at least how I understand it. It's just about rap music, hip hop in general. Like, holy shit. At least to me. I don't fucking know. I mean, I'm going to re-listen to this over and over and over again because I fucking love this song. Definitely going on my fucking library. Let me just do that right now, actually, real quick. Mm. But damn, this dude's giving me goosebumps from the moment it started. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not cold. It's not cold outside. This, wow. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue to um, the next track. Uh, Dueles, Dueles interlude. I don't know. Let's hear it. Yo, that was magical. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I'm in a positive mood or something, but that just that put me in the mood for whatever's next on the album. Definitely did its job right. Didn't disrupt the flow. Still got goosebumps, definitely. Continue on to Hercules. I won't rate interludes and stuff because I don't think it's right to, to rate them. Let's move on to Hercules featuring Swiss Beats. Let's see how it goes. I know Swiss Beats well, you know. No real comment on Swiss Beats. I don't really like them. I don't really dislike them. It's kind of just in the middle. But anyways, Hercules. Let's hear Hercules because this album is so far great. Oh. Yo, dude, this is different from the first two songs, but it still fits. This is great. Dude, this is like my, this, I don't know about you guys, but this is my kind of music right here. It just fits right in. Definitely going on all my playlists that it fits, of course. But damn, like that is, that is, it's a, we're four, we're four songs in and I'm just, damn. Like I still got goosebumps. What the fuck? I mean, yeah. This is a great song so far. We're at the chorus now, so Swiss Beats. Let's get it going. Okay. Damn. That was another great track. I'm not going to lie. I really, really liked it. But I have one issue with that track. One issue. There's a few flows that I think went, a, went around, went a bit too long. For example, the beginning of the second verse, it kind of lost that ding. The, the weird little where he he kind of went higher with his voice um, at the end you know at the end of each line that kind of put me off I'm not gonna lie but besides that like it's a great song the drums hit well and hard they hit really good and you know Swiss Beats at least I think that Swiss Beats on the chorus I'm not sure it sounds similar to Snoop Dogg's Countdown in terms of the chorus like in terms of his voice, I don't actually mean it sounds similar. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a fucking dumbass. But anyways, that was a great track. I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. Still great. Still great. But just those flows really put me, like, I was into it. I was going. But then at the second verse, it kind of switched me off a bit. Still going definitely on my fucking on my fucking library. But, I mean, besides, that, the second verse is the only problem. Not gonna lie. But let's continue on to the next track featuring... Like, how do you... Like Kelly, like Kelly forty seven, like Kelly forty seven. Fuck it, we're saying like Kelly forty seven, 
and it's called The Fifth Story featuring Like Kelly 47. I'm just going to say it's that name because I really don't fucking know what it is. But anyways, Fifth Story, let's go. Feel good, he put it on speaker, so she wouldn't be insecure like Lisa. The clerk said, Mr. Terry, yo, you left your visa. And it was really real good to meet your wife. Her blue hair was fresh, her perfume was nice. Things got ice, ice. He about to feel that spice. Wow, another great storytelling track. I don't know what I got so invested in that story. I got so invested. I got. There's only one thing that put me off, but it's not even that major. To be honest, it's like nitpicking pretty much. But we gonna lie like Russia. I mean, I don't know. Besides that, like that's really a nitpick at this point. Uh, yeah. Out of all of the tracks, that one's the best one. Definitely. 10 out of 10, no question. I was so gripped by the story. I don't know why. It didn't even feel like I was recording anymore. It just felt like I was in the story, you know? Like, the way he described it was so real. I don't know how, to, I don't know how else to describe that, but it just felt real, you know? It just felt... It just felt great. Still goosebumps in my fucking arms. Like, damn. Oh, this, this, this... I don't know what he's doing. I need to listen to more of Common because if it's anything like this, if it's anything like that in terms of skill, flow, whew, I'm going to need more of that, not going to lie. Anyways, going from fifth story where her husband fell out, we're going into Forever Your Love featuring BJ the Chicago Kid. We don't get to choose our mothers. Somehow I know our souls chose each other. Saints Damn, another hard line right at the end before the chorus. I know people can choose their mothers, but our souls chose each other. Damn. Another great line. Like, holy shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe this is an average album. This is a below average album from Common. This is the, my first Common album. I'm not going to lie. I'm just feeling every every bar every lyric every word i'm feeling it and i'm loving it i mean i think it was good i think i think forever your love obviously to his mom featuring bj the kid it doesn't really fit the name but anyways that's a great track honestly though after fifth story like I don't know, you can't have another deep track like that and expect it to be as high as that because that was just, wow, at least to me. But Forever Your Love, definitely a good track. What kind of distracted me, this isn't really against the song, but BJ the Kid sounded a lot like Anderson Park at some parts, to be honest with you guys. But besides that, I mean, it's not really a negative thing. I love Anderson Park, but... It was a good track, but it's not as good as, as Fifth Story. I don't know, just right afterwards. I don't know, for me, the placing was a bit. But I'd say that's like a 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Still good. Still good. Trust me. Anything above a 5 to me is good. But I don't know. After the whole standard that the, the album set and we're halfway through, honestly, I felt like I was here for only 5 minutes, even though I've been here for nearly 40. But we're going to go right on to the next song, Leaders featuring curb love oh no sorry leaders curb love featuring a track so let's get right to the seventh track of the album oh 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 uh-huh damn like i'm just i don't know it's hard to describe how i'm feeling just i'm just it's just great i love it not gonna lie like leaders so far is really doing well for me you know you know what? That's that's just a great track to vibe with. Definitely going on my fucking library. Leaders, Curb Love featuring A Track. I really like that. Well, 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 well. You know, whatever. Like, well, 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 da, 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 da. I love the melody, point is. But, you know what? Honestly, I don't think, I don't know. To me, I'm tempted to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a good song. Just a good song. I don't really have any issues with it. It's just a good song, you know. Seven out of ten. That's that's at least for me. 
But we're going to continue to Memories of Home featuring both BJ the uh, Chicago Kid and Samora Pinderhues, which we had in the first song, right? Yeah, we did. So we're going back to the two singers. So Memories of Home, let's go. I'm getting some like Tribe Call Quest vibes here. I don't know why. Damn. Like I'm definitely putting that on my, on my library. I'd give it about um, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, an 8 out of 10. Solid all across the board. Just damn. Damn these these songs really make you think, huh? They 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 make me think a lot. Just I don't know about life, about where I wanna go, my direction. Even though Common is so much older than me, even though he's you know he's at the well not at the top, I mean he's not like world famous like fucking Drake or anything. But he's a well known MC. He's like near that I'm a legend you know I can relate to him so much I don't know why I just I just can and this album is just we're near the end unfortunately <laughs> but the next song is called show me that you love featuring Jill Scott and Samora Ping Pinder Hughes once again now Jill Scott I've actually listened to in the past Really like Jill Scott. This is the longest track on the album with seven minutes, which will take up the bulk of the time of this video, probably. So let's continue. I guess he's reflecting over being a father and it's working. I, I'm not a dad, <laughs> but I feel it. I, I just, I feel it so much. It's so powerful so far, at least two minutes into this seven minute track. But that will show that you love and I liked it personally it's not my taste though in terms of having most of the ending track be instrumentation seeing as it was about four minutes of instrumentation three minutes of actual vocals from both Common and I think it was Jill Scott mainly but you know what it was a good track it was a good track definitely I give it about a, a seven out of ten um you know again not my style I can totally understand how people would like that it's relaxing and made me feel like I was in a, in a trance, you know? I was just in a trance, and I was just feeling every hit of the drum, every instrument that came in, every instrument that went out. I felt it. But yeah, I think that's about a 7 out of 10. But anyways, the next song, it's the one, the only song he does solo on this whole thing. Called My, F My Fancy Free Future Love. Now let's see this. So I hope it's good. Tenth track of the album, second last uh, track. Let's go. Damn, I'm loving this beat. I'm loving what he's saying. Like you can learn when you're older. I mean, I know I'm taking everything literally. Blah blah blah. You can listen to the album yourself. I know, but I don't. I just, it's just great. It's just I'm feeling every word. You know how you can still learn even when you're older, even if you think you made it, even if things aren't right. You can still make it. You can still learn. That's a great lesson right there. We're not even done. Not even halfway through. Let's continue going. Yo, dude. This was my favorite song. In terms of songs out of this album that I'd probably listen to more than 20, 40, 50 times. That's, that's the track. My Fancy Free Future Love. The sample was just... Mm, I love that guitar in the back. The... Whatever the fuck. I loved the... the lyrics the lyrics just felt real again i don't know how he does it he keeps a unique flow manages to tell a great story and keep it real for the hip-hop not gonna lie it's fucking amazing i fucking love this album it might be one of the few albums because i don't usually re-listen albums but this is one of the few albums i probably re-listened to many times over this is a great ass album but we're going to the last stop on our journey god is love featuring Leon Bridges and Jonathan McReynolds. And before we go on to that next track, My Fancy Free Future Love would get about a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Fuck it. 10 out of 10. I love the, the song. But anyways, God is love. Let's go. What a great fucking song. God is love. I felt it. Again, it's just, you feel it, you know? 
You just feel it. Now, before we get to the like end full review part of this video, I'm going to rate this song about a 8, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. We're going to say 7 out of 10. It ain't my style of music, but that when that gospel section came in, I just had to be clapping along because that was... That, it, you just feel it all in the soul, you know? I'm not religious. I'm not going to lie. I'm not fucking religious. But this song just... It just, it just hit different. Every track hit different. But let's get right to the outro segment. So, we have finished listening to Let Love by Common. I've never listened to a Common album before. I'm not going to lie. But this shit was amazing. Every track, it made me feel something. You know, it made me feel great. I don't know how to explain it. Just, I was feeling the vibe. I was feeling his struggles. Feeling the stories that he was telling me. Honestly, some of the highlights for me were Fifth Story, definitely one of the highlights. Her Love, Her Love, My Future Free Love, and um, God is Love. Those would be my highlights and Forever Your Love, definitely. Now, personally, what I find with this album is it's a great listen to listen all together. But for me, there's only like one or two songs that I'd actually listen to consistently. Now, that's not a problem for me. That happens with most albums. But that's going to have to take a, a point down because I find albums that are timeless and are great usually have more songs than that, at least to me. At least to me. Still a great album, in my opinion. I've never listened to Common before. I'll state that again. My first Common album. And I've got to listen more to this, man. If you have not listened to this album or Common whatsoever, I highly recommend you start right away because this album is something to talk about and on spotify he only has a thousand streams on like it says a thousand less or less on the 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 songs themselves which is crazy it's probably because it came out today but still what i would give this album i would give it definitely an eight out of ten an extremely enjoyable listen his flows are very unique although he does use some flows again and again but it still feels fresh and unique and something you haven't really heard from other artists or rappers or anything is just it's unique to him. The song structures were a bit generic, and at the end I was kind of like, okay, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, you know, like the classic, but it was just kind of like female vocalist. But there was a few changes, like in Fifth Story, when, you know, all that different stuff. But anyways, now, if you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, um, and I'll come out with a new video next week if we can hit about 10 likes. I know you guys did great on the last video. If you guys could do that again, 10 likes, and I'll upload a, vi a video by next Friday. But you know what I mean. 10 likes, and we'll reach that. Make sure to subscribe. Please share this video around. Put a lot of effort into it. And um, again, a few announcements from the beginning of the video. If you don't know, I have a new Twitter. And I have a new Instagram for my drumming. If you want to follow my old Instagram, it is the Hun, um, the underscore big underscore bi uh, Hun. Or if you want to follow my my other drummer Instagram, it's the Hun Drums. And if you want to follow my Twitter, well, the link is in the bio because I can't really remember that shit right now. But if you've enjoyed it, make sure to share it around. I've been the Hun, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.